Cups. Today's referee will be Liam Anderson in the ladies' league take work. Sorry, Caitlin, we can say welcome now. Yeah, how you going, fellas? Yeah, fantastic. Now, Aberdeen, positive finish to the year, but... Yeah, no, the girls come back strong in the last oh, three or four weeks. It was really good to see with the girls. No, it was, and uh, on the back of... Um, Kelsey French too, I yeah. believe, playing yeah. some fantastic football. Yeah, and that she was a great involvement. Well, I'll let you girls go through. Let you girls. I'll let Bomber go through <laughs> the That's game right, side, mate. and uh, you can do the Marundi side there. Yeah, I'm just not sure if these are, are these all by yep. numbers are they? Okay, well, we've got number one Samantha Elphick, two is Ebony Hawkins, three is Kayla Davis, four is Rebecca Hill, five is Georgia Watts, six is Flynn Haggerty, seven is Sophie Cap uh, Casson and Captain, eight is Coral Hagen, nine. Celia Nolan, 10 is Nikki Schliff. Schliffke, uh, 12 is Sophie Hind, 13 is Millie Graham and 14 is Isabella Wright. Over to you, Caitlin. For Miranda, we've got number one, Jessica Preslin, number two, Alana Bruce, three, Michelle Wormsley, four, Nicole Moody, five, Talia Bruce, six, Kimberly Willard, seven, Melissa Peters, the captain, number eight, Cherie Johnson, number nine, Grace Gallen, 10, Jodie Holman, 11, Hannah Rendo, 12, Megan McLaughlin, 13, Michaela Darcy, and 15, Lindsay Atkinson. Yeah, we've just seen this game kick off. Marunda have dropped the ball and given a penalty away for an offside. So immediately, as you would know, Caitlin, Scanner going onto the attack, and it'll, it'll base itself around the, the hill Casson combination from here for about 30 metres out. Yeah, it sure will, Bomber. Okay, I'm going to try and work some numbers names out here, but... That was a drop ball there by number 11, who we haven't even got on our team sheet, so that's an interesting thing. <laughs> Someone should yell out there. So I think that was Nikki Schliffke. She, was it? Oh, so that looks like that's the way it's been written. She mightn't be 10. Caitlin, if you know them girls, call it, because the Murundo girls only know about four or five of them. <laughs> right, I'll try my best. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so I'm pretty sure that was Michelle Wormsley. Just took yep. a nice run. And that's Jessica Preslin. She's pretty good out of dummy half. She uses them swivel of the hips. Yeah, that's Hannah Rando just jumping in dummy half. That's Sam Elphick again, is it? On a nice ball onto Michaela Darcy. About 40 metres out the rain line, Murundi. Long ball here now. It's Sheree Johnson back to Hannah Rando. Hannah Rando can't get through the combination of Watson Haggerty. That looks as that Gracie Gallon with the kick, is it, Caitlin? Yep, yep. yep sure was. It's out in the full, so there, once again, pressure straight on Murundi. They've, they've dropped the ball from the kickoff, and their first set of six, they've, they've kicked it out on the full, so they're scaring a 40 metres out from Scone's line. Yeah, that's an unusual mistake from Gracie Gallon. She's pretty switched on when it comes to kicking. Yep. You'd have to put it down to the pressures of a major semi final, but. Um yeah, got through their set of six. It was just that kick that yep. wasn't good enough at the end of it. That's it. Nolan wide out of Hill. Hill gives it on to the 11, which is Shift Slifty, if that's the pronunciation we're looking for. <laughs> Nolan again. She goes across and pops Casson underneath, and Casson pops it inside to um, Flynn Haggerty, and Flynn's tagged there again. Casson going across for her, looking for runners. She throws a dummy, but she's well tagged there by the 13, Michaela Darcy. Nolan, dummy half again. Goes on to Elphick. Elphick down the short side. She beats one. She beats two. She beats three. And she will score. As easy as you like. Yeah, Didn't have to do much. It was just a couple of swivels of the hips. And in, in the case of tag, it's just a case of you make your tags. You're, you're more than likely to win the game. Yeah, Elphick there, nice and light on her feet. Oh. And uh, Marundi a little bit slow to get off their line. And uh, have now paid the price for it. Yeah, probably not the start Marundi were looking for. They're back-to-back -back non completions I suppose you want to call it, and it's just gifted Scone some easy field position without having to do too much. And, yeah, probably the defence needs to be a little bit better than that in a major semi. Caitlin? Yeah, for sure, absolutely. Miranda will bounce back from that one, I hope. Look, what I have liked so far, Bomber, is seeing both sides using the ball, and they're nice and crisp with their passing, but... Uh, yeah, Marundi will have to lift, especially in their defence. Yeah, that's that's correct. There's a, there's a lot of threats in the in the Scone side. There's probably four or five girls that it'll base it around. Obviously, Beck Hill and Sophie Casson will be the, the key indicators that they'll have to look for. But if they relax on them, as the goal kick's been successful by Sam Elphick, who's a quite a prolific point scorer in the, the ladies' league tag. 
Mate, I was standing right behind her on that one. She bent it across nicely and put it between the sticks. So they're up 6 0. Yep, 6 0 here to the scone side. And it's breeze starting to pick up. You probably won't be able to feel it down there for about another hour. <laughs> Yeah, it has lifted just a little bit, but not a great deal. It's blowing right across the field, so no favouritism to either side. Okay, Gallon kicks off. Deep one down into the 20-metre line of Scone, and Georgia Watts looking to pick it up. No, it's flicked back to Flynn Haggerty, and Flynn's been tagged there 20 metres out for her own line. Nolan at dummy half gets it on to Watts. Watts takes a nice steady run up over the advantage line where she's tagged. Nolan at dummy half again. Hill. Drifting across, drops it inside to Casson. Casson with the, the play back to Elphick, which is their, their pet play, and she's gone through two or three tags there before she's eventually got. They've got the, on the front foot here. Casson goes over the ad line, gives it on to Haggerty. Haggerty long ball out to Watts, who doesn't find it, find the, the ball the first time, but eventually tagged there. Nolan back to Hagen. Hagen flicks it on to Casson. Casson moves across, nice tag there. I think it was Jess, no, yep, Jess Preslin. Jess Preslin, yep. Haggerty goes across, looking for runners, picks up the, the 11 shiftly <laughs> onto, the, onto the 12, who is Sophie Hind. Sophie Hind. Nolan again at dummy half, goes onto the 13, which is Millie Gray. Millie's a young Denman girl who's made her way up to Scone to have a crack at, with the tag girls in Scone. Onto Casson, Casson dummies the kick, then eventually puts a grubber kick through, rolling on the ground. Yeah, well picked up there. That's Preslin, was it? Caitlin? Yes. Yep. Hannah Rando at dummy half now. This is where it gets a bit difficult because I don't know a lot of them are under girls and that's the three. Michelle Wamsley who in the the last round game is quite good for them. Rando, Rando met by the defenders there. She steps out of one but she's eventually tagged about 15 metres out from her own line. Short side to Preslin. Preslin, yep. Easy meet there for the, the hooker Nolan who's been busy with a lot of dummy half work. Yep. And, uh, that's the eight again. That's Sheree Johnson, the captain, who got it on to Hannah Randa. Hannah has played the ball, and I think it could be I don't know, there was a ruck form there. It was quite an interesting decision by Liam. I would have thought that the, the dummy half was still there, but he's allowed play on. Casson goes across, she skips on the outside of one, outside of two, and she's a nice tag there by the, the winger on the far side for Marundi. Nolan again, dummy half onto the 13, which is Millie Graham, who's Tagged about two metres out from the line. Nolan goes to short side, tries a luck. Nice tag there, the short side by Marandai. Graham, Casson, Casson on to Shifsky. Beckhill jumps out of one, but she's nice tag there by the six from Marandai. Kimberly Willard. Again, Casson comes down, puts a nice little grubber kick. Nice, nice take there by the Marandai girl, which in the nine was Grace Gallon. Good defence there, Caitlin. They, they threw a fair bit at them then. Yeah, no, they sure did. So Murrow are trying to work it off their own line, which is where they've been camped for the the whole of the match at the moment. That's the seven. Melissa Peters, who's nicely tagged over there by the 12 in Sophie Hind. Bomber, the defence on the line there from Murrow on the last couple of sets of six, where Scone were attacking the line, was a lot better than what we saw in the first opening minutes yeah, of the game, yep. working into it nicely. It sure was. That's Peters on to, that's the eight in Johnston. Preslin. There's a kick there by Gracie Gallon. Probably, oh, it's a, they've probably got the luck, luck of the draw here. It was a knock on by Scone, and Savey Hine. So this is the first opportunity Marondo have had to start a set of six on their own 40, so we can see what they can do now in a, a more of an attacking position. Nice run down the short side there, nice inside ball, but she's been pulled up for a, a tag, so she'll have to go back and play that. Oh, that's oh, no. gone back. I think it'll be play on if Marondo collect it. Yep. Picked up there by Talia Bruce. On Preslin, Preslin, wide ball onto Johnson, was it? And that's Johnson there, isn't it? No, she, it Johnson's through over onto the halfway line now. So see what Marando will get on the back of that. Down the short side to Willard. Willard gives it to the, the two in Alana Bruce, who's pulled out of a couple. There'll be a penalty here. There's a, there's a, a shirt, uh, not a shirt pull, but a, a, a short, short pull. pull. <laughs> <laughs> so once again, fresh set of six for the, the Marando girls, and it'll be interesting to see where. Henarando positions herself here 
after watching them play in the last round, she she plays a nice sweep play off the pivot plays, and it'll be interesting to see if they can she can play that same play here. This is Marundi's first attempt at attacking down inside the danger zone. It'll be interesting to see Scone's defence. Yeah, it's a really good test for him now. Rando takes a nice forward run, puts the, it's, it was a good run too. Nice and square, forcing him to make an, a tag. 13 goes on to Darcy, Darcy onto the six in Willard, who's taken 10 metres out. Again, Johnson and dummy half wide, run out to the seven in Peters. Peters, long ball to the 12 there in McLaughlin. That's Wamsley again, she's just going straight at the line, so if she challenged the taggers. Nice tag there, Manol and the hooker is again, has been very busy, Elphick, not Elphick, sorry. 13 in Darcy. Takes a line on. This is the last tackle. We'll see what we've got here, whether they're going to run or a little grubber kick. It's the nine in Johnson. Little grubber kick through. Tried to be trapped by one scan girl, but eventually picked up by Hind. Yeah, good tag by Gracie Gallon there. Yeah. Probably didn't throw a lot at him there, Caitlin. It was just pretty standard tag there. That No wraps, no no double unders or anything like that. Just no, standard just tag. Yep. Hill gives the ball out to Haggerty, who's Tag there about 20 metres out from her own line. Hill down the short side now. Casson goes to the line, looks to give it to Watts. Watts is there, eventually tagged by the two in Alana Bruce. Picked up by Alana Bruce from dummy half. Yeah, Scone girl's just not there. It's un unusual because and Nolan looked to be offside there. She's she's compounded a first error by not being square at marker. Probably a thing in league tag, Caitlin. If you watch enough of it as I do, and you play enough of it, it's it's a it's a uh, proportion, a huge proportion of girls not playing square at tag, and it, it just slows the game up. Yeah, it sure does, Bomber. Johnson at dummy half out to Preslin, who gets it onto the, the six in Kimberly Willard. Preslin again. Peters, Peters inside to Rando. Rando's challenged him here, but she's a nice tag there by the six in Flynn Haggerty. She probably had to get that one. Preslin again, this is the 13 and Darcy goes the short side onto the 9 and 9 oh. flicks it over to the the 2 in Alana Bruce but Liam Anderson's called a forward pass there, that was that was all on the back of a nice run by Henna Rando poked the nose through the, the first line of defence and allowed the Murundi girls to play a bit of footy at them Hannah Rando's looked the most likely for Murundi so far and almost split this game there, but um, they were quick enough to get hold of her. Yep, that's right. I, I would nearly say Hannah's and Caitlin might might agree or might not agree. I think Hannah's probably put herself as probably the number two tag player in the group now, I'd, I'd imagine. Yeah, no, she sure has. She's uh, very good at attack and defence. OK, Scone running the ball from her own line. Sophie's come across towards the, the sideline here. She's thrown about four dummies, but eventually has been tagged by Alana Bruce. Georgia Watts comes down the short side, get, gets past one or two, runs backwards over onto the 40 metre line. And on the last tackle, long ball out to Haggerty. That's, sorry, it's Elphick. <laughs> Ponytail's got me. Nice takeover there by the five, Alar Talia Bruce. Yeah, it was a nice set of six there from Scone and got the kick away, found open space, but the bounce favourable to, yeah. to the Mavs. Rando takes it up to about 35 out from her own line. They go a short side here, which it's a funny play going on the short side and tag, but they've probably got a little bit more ground than I thought they would. 12's McGlock McLaughlin who gives it to Hannah Rando. Hannah is pretty... Pretty well wrapped up there by the Scone girls. Not a lot of space there. They probably need to have her running three or four passes wide. That's the eight in Cherie Johnson. Tag there. Goes back now to, to the gallon for a long kick. It's a handy kick. It goes over the head of Millie Grahams. Forced Millie to run back to about ten metres out for her own line before she gathers the ball. Confronted by a reasonably straight line of defence by Marondoy. And Sophie Hine comes from Blindside to open to have a bit of a run. She's tagged reasonably easy there by the Murundi defence. Graham takes one over the advantage line. And it's a, it's a good run. It's a, it's a run that's probably underused in tag, that advantage line run. Casson, Casson to Hill, back to Casson, back under the Haggerty. Haggerty juggles a bit of eventually is taken. Yep, 
Unfortunately, Flynn didn't realise she still had both tags on, but hang on, Liam's... What's, oh, Liam's got the girls for a, a bit of lip. A little, little bit of descent there. I, I thought, did Flynn still have two tags on, Caitlin? Yeah, she did. <laughs> yeah, Liam did not like to be told what to do, I think. <laughs> no, refs usually don't. <laughs> okay, Hill, Hill goes to the line, puts a... Flynn Haggerty through for a nice... Oh, good tag. Yeah, I'm not sure who that girl was that tagged her, but it was a... It was a vital tag there. Georgia Watts comes again, goes over the ad line. Yeah, there's a bit of a clash there. Liam's going to make a decision here. He's he's got the Mirandai girls for for excessive contact or wrapping of the arms around. It's a 50-50 call in tag, as you know, Caitlin. The, you stand your ground to let the not to let the girl go past you. It could be anything. You could get a penalty for you or against you. Yeah, it just depends what the ref's feeling at the time, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so that's. That's, uh, who's that down? That's Jess Preslin down, is it? Caitlin? I think so. Yeah. They probably wouldn't want to lose her for any length of time. She's one of the, the key players in the, the Murundi side. Yeah, that's for sure. Bomber, the 24 that's out there for Murundi is um, Erin West. Erin West, right here. Yeah. No she worries. made that crucial tag where Skane almost got through. When, when Reggie finds a pen, I'll get him to write it down for me. Erin West, mate. Number 24 for Marundi. And I've also missed Rebecca Willard. She's number 18 too. All right. Yeah, she's down there. Down west is 24. Oh, 24. Okay. Here we go. We're going to have Georgia Watts taking the tap. 32 metres out from the Marundi line with Skane still leading six points to nil with about 10 to go in the first half. Watts takes it up. Nice 10 metre run there before she's tagged. Hill goes to, oh, looked a bit touchy that pass. It was Shifke's been tagged there. Short side, Nola runs across, drops it inside to Cass and Cass and puts the inside ball to Haggerty who leaves it behind. So straight away the, the Scone girls have released the pressure on Murundi. It's a play that Scone will play probably 40 times a game and execute at probably 35. So, um, here we go, Hannah Rando takes a nice run over the advantage line with nice pace, nice tag by Beck Hill. And then we go to the Johnson, I think it is, she goes to the line, she's a nice tag there by Flynn Haggerty. The six, I've just went to look at my team sheet and one of my, <laughs> the boss man's thrown an iPad straight over the top of the team sheet. I tried to get set up <laughs> yeah. finally, the boys yeah. gave me a headache this morning, Bomber. Yeah, Wamsley down the short, so it's back inside with a ball's lost there. Oh, Liam's going to no. call us a lost ball. She's she hit the deck and still had two tags on. The ball's lost and yeah, in tag. Unfortunately that's a, a knock on. It, it's a tough call but that's just the way it's adjudicated. And Bomber, she's gone down there and grabbed straight at her knee. Hopefully it's nothing too serious. We'll try and find out as she comes off. Did you know who it was, Pete? Or? Mate, I didn't quite see the Michelle number. Wormsley. Yeah, well, that'd be a big blow. Um, you lose Michelle. She was the girl that Basically won the the game for him in the last few minutes up here in the the last round of the okay, interesting to note there the the great Daryl Rando running the water for for uh, Murundi Daryl's a Murundi boy but made his name as a, a a very good captain coach and player for the Scone Club a Scone legend so but his daughter's playing for Murundi and he's given all his knowledge and all his time to the Murundi side and them being in the major semi obviously it's paying off for him. I've got to say, 6 0 Bank uh, Bomber, it's pretty much what we expected in this match. We expected a very close match with the Skane and Marundi. Um, Marundi, of course, got them in their last game they played in the regular season. Yeah, well, I was here that day and it was that terrible Sunday where the wind blew like a bugger all day and it was just based on who had who had the wind basically held the field position and the and the points and Marundi had the wind in the second half and come out of the top of Skane. So but at the moment the wind's not a factor but I'm predicting probably later on the day it will be. There was plenty of wind yesterday, wasn't there, Caitlin, yeah. down there at Singleton? Yeah, it sure was. I was up here yesterday and it was, it was windy too. It was just a fact you needed some goggles for the dust that was coming off the ground. Yeah, it looks pretty dry out there at the moment. Um, as uh, they go... She seems all right now. She's up and back it off. off. What would your dad give you advice in, Caitlin, that situation? Get up. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Look, guys, that was Melissa Peters who was down with the uh, knee, but she's <laughs> All right, flexing yeah. it out. Sorry. She's back up and walking around now, so 
That is good signs for uh, so Murundi. Here we go, 40 metres out, Scone with a fresh set of six here to have another crack at trying to break Murundi again. That's Shifty goes forward. Shlifty. Slif Slifty. <laughs> What's the first name? Shifty. That might be easy. Nicky. Nicky. Yeah. <laughs> Hill, Hill, double block play out to Flynn Haggerty. Beats one, but eventually is taken there by Alana Bruce. Alana's come up with some good plays here on the wing. The 18 for Skain is Phoebe Moritz. who just took the ball up at Nolan. Out to Hill. Hill to Casson, back to Hill. Hill drops it inside to Nikki. Nikki, Nikki back inside to Casson. There's a lot of ball movement here. Nicely held there by the Murundai girls. They haven't broken the line yet. Long ball out to Hill. Hill tries to skip on the outside of one of the Murundai players, gives it to Hind down the, the far side of Scone Park. She's tagged there, and there's another Murundai girl down now. With it. I don't know if it's not the I same think, girl, is it? Yeah, I think it is Melissa Peters again. Poor bugger. Uh, clutching a left knee. I will say, um, Caitlin, yesterday's ladies league tag, um, you know, it, it did end up to be a physical game towards the end. Um, from the Musselbrook team, uh, they, they lost, of course, uh, to the Maryville Magpies who were in form, but it, it was a great performance right up until halftime. Yeah, no, nah, it sure was. Mussy were, yeah, they, they didn't give up. They didn't give up. While we're on the theme of Mussy, I'll give the, the junior tag a real big, real big plug for the... Friday night, big, good crowd turned up on Friday night down at Olympic Park, which saw the single and girls beat Skane in the um, under-12s. The, the Musselbrook girls beat Singlet in the under-14s in the last minute of the second session of extra time. Second section? Really? Yep. Just a minute before Golden Point was being introduced. And uh, the mighty Musselbrook 16 girls side, which I have a close association <laughs> with as coach, defeated Singlet 18-0 in probably... The most complete performance I've seen of late by some girls, but the um, the advent of the Northern Division, Northern Tigers tag side was has increased the ability of the the Junior League tag tenfold. It was great to watch the grand final. Both sides have got heaps of talent in it in the 16s. Bomber, it was Melissa Peters who went down with that knee injury. They've taken her off the far yep. side of the field, and now oh, she'll make that go. slow walk around. Hold the phone. Oh. <laughs> He's brought out the hold the phone, Pete Holland. Hold the phone. <laughs> yeah, it's going to just put a grubber kick through him. Michaela Darcy saved the day with a kick and the ball dead, but it was it was danger signs there. Michaela was the only Murundi girl back there, and there was a few Scone girls around, so how many she saved the day for Murundi. How many of them quotes have you got to pull out today? You oh, haven't got, got any. No cliches today, mate. <laughs> Rugby League will be the winner today. Well, that was huge. <laughs> Look, that was good work from Arundo there. There were three scone girls just about on that ball when the kick got put through, and uh, they managed to get it dead. Elphick takes it up to 40 metres out, or 30 metres out from the Arundo line. Arundo still holding Femi Casson, showing and going. The pet play. That's a well, play. Yep, yep, that's it. Well held by the Arundo defence. Haggerty drops it inside to Watts. Watts back inside to Nolan. Well read by Arundo. I think Daryl's got him teed up with these inside balls. Hill. Goes back across the ruck to inside to Elphick. Elphick out of one, out of two. Stopped there by Rando. Oh. But Hannah had to do that. That's what you're instructed to do in tag. Make sure the girl doesn't get past you. Get That's a body right. or get something on and don't let her score. Absolutely. Body on the line all the time. So it's an interesting decision here what the going to do. They take a kick. No, they're not. They're going to go and have another crack at them. Elphick just takes a little settler up to the, the line about three or four metres out from Murundi line. Nolan at dummy half. Goes to Haggerty, Haggerty, dummies drops. Oh, she's jumped out of two, and that's all it is. The nine and ten from Arundel, unfortunately, doing a little bit of ball watching, missed out, missed both tags on either side of Flynn, and Flynn just strolled over for, again, probably what was a, a fairly right soft try to the scan. So I ten, uh, ten nil to the scan girls. I just realised, Bodman, that was a great try. Flynn Haggerty, she's got the great vision to, to slice through those gaps. But we've got the speaker that the rest of the ground's listening to right next to our heads coming through the microphones. All oh, right, I thought you were just about to tell me that <laughs> what I was doing on the commentary was going over the speaker. No, no, you can you can commentate to the ground. I can get a big oh, speaker for ground. Don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. There'd be, there'd be people wanting to throw stuff at me. Guys, that was a good try for Scone, but uh, a little bit of a misread by the two girls in defence there for Mararundi. Both of them just seemed to come to a stop and thinking the other one had her. Yeah, it's, it's going to throw a lot of um, dummy unders plays and 
decoy plays and that. Probably more unders plays than anything, Caitlin, don't they? But it's just a matter of hold and firm and the, the no dummy call has to come out. you just got to take the play with the ball. Yep, that's it. Absolutely. Look, it's a great day for the Scone Club. They've got, you know, the, this side, the ladies' league tag side, and then they've got the reserve grade as well. Um, and the first grade, Bomber. If yeah, this could get them on the good foot, if the if the Scone King team can continue with this. Yeah, well, they're, they're red-hot favourites. Really. Even though they've been beaten, Elphick's going to take a conversion attempt here from halfway between the touch line and the, the goal post. Nicely struck, but it swings away to the left of the post, so it remains 10-0 in favour of Scone with about just over a touch over five minutes left in the first half. Yeah, look, that was from almost identical spot as the first kick today, but she started that one just a little bit further left. Unfortunate. OK, Morundi would probably be having a bit of a chat there behind the line. We No more soft tries, and they've just got to find some field position here at the moment. They're not, they really haven't mounted any pressure on Scone for one reason or the other. But um, they've done the bulk of the defending, Caitlin, and even though it's not tackle, it still takes the gas out of your defending and tag. Oh, yeah, for sure. And just because of the nice warm weather here, it too will be playing a huge factor as well. OK, so Gracie Gallon sets the ball up. Uh, see if she can drive it down deep into the Scone territory. Nice kick. It's a fair bit of Very air. Good Georgia kick. Watts underneath. It takes a nice take 20 metres out from her, her own line, but she's well tagged there by the, the 24 in Aaron West. It's number three, Kayla Davis. Kayla's just come on the field for Scone. Nolan at dummy half. Nolan shows and goes. Takes it right to the line, finds Beck Hill into the line. Probably Beck probably would have liked another person on her outside there to continue the, the trend. Savvy Hine drops back under. Nice solid run there. Nicely tagged by Gee, she's Preston. She's got Butt. some speed, hasn't she? Yeah. So Hill drifts across here again. She just straightens it up and basically submits the tag on the last... So will probably go back to Haggerty here, or Elphick. Haggerty's offside there, so probably interesting to see what she gets called on. For mine, she was probably in there. Yeah, she did get called out. Rando takes it across field, beats one, tries to straighten up, and Sophie Cass, a nice tag. That was a nice set of six there from Scone after scoring points, and that's what you always want, to control the ball and get to your kick at the end. Yep, spot on. That's Sophie's very knowledgeable girl. She would have not too much fancy in their, their play. Preslin goes up there. She's well tagged there by Nolan. Nolan's been busy at hooker. I don't know much about her. Caitlin, she a usual player here? She played the last few years, has she? Uh, yeah, I think she used to play for Morundi when it first started. Oh, right, yeah. No in. worries. Okay, Morundi just tagged on the halfway on their last tackle. Haven't really made much ground in that set of six. Rando puts a, a wobbly old kick down towards Elphick. It goes back off her hands by the look of it. Good chase by the, the Murrondi girls. Real, that was the 24 in Aaron West. Under Again. three minutes now until halftime. Still 10 nil on the A-plus contracting scoreboard. Coral Hagen at dummy half goes a short side. Nolan just takes a, a nice run down there. She beats one, but no, she's, oh, she's, she's got her for blocking. Yep, Liam's got her for blocking. Good to see young Liam get a, a centre here. He's a progressive sort of referee, a good kid. Um, probably gave up a reasonably good footy career to, to get into the referees' ranks. So, and he does a good job, yeah, mate. He does a great it. job. Look, you know what's best about his refereeing here today? You've hardly noticed yep. him. He's only blown the whistle when he's had to. That's it. So Aaron West takes it up for Murrindoy. Here we go. We see if Murrindoy can put something on here. Jess Preslin just takes it herself, tries to put a bit of footwork on Haggerty, and Haggerty takes an easy tag. Here we go to the... 13 and Darcy, Darcy out to Rando, Rando further out to McLaughlin who then eventually gets it on to Talia Bruce but there's an earlier tag made there Rando just takes it, gives it to the 5 Talia Bruce, probably a for want of a better word, that was a dead run there There's there was nothing going, Oh, here Rando's we go. down the short side here, she's going to see if she could take a few players on and it was a nice tag there by two girls I think she's been tagged by the, the first and second girl, but double she, tag. Yeah, she caught him just a little bit unawares there. A minute 30 left with Scone leading 10 0. Murrindoy got Scone tucked into a corner here. So Millie Graham takes it up and nice, <laughs> probably good contact. It'd be good contact in the next game <laughs> if it was tackled. So Michaelia Darcy, Millie actually played in the Curry 
under 18s tackle side yesterday, so it's nothing she hasn't wouldn't have experienced in the last couple of days. And, and she actually the, plays for the Cronulla. Yeah, Cronulla Sharks. Sharks. So a shark it. Uh, yeah, I don't know what they're called. They're not. They're not the West Tigers. So I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> don't go there. Do not go there at the moment. Not happy. <laughs> Millie takes it up to 40 metres out from her own line. Hine takes a nice solid run over the ad line. Beats one. Eventually got their tag there by Preslin. 40 odd seconds to go here. Morondo, I need to hold on here. No late tries. Casson with a dummy. No dummy half. Comes the hill. Hill goes on. Drops a double under into Watts who gives it back to Nolan. Nolan long ball taken well by Hagen. Oh. Well, Hagen it wasn't. Millie Graham's eventually tagged there 40 metres out from the Morondo line. Oh, that's a forward pass. Yeah, Nolan's gone the short side to give Hind a run down the short side, and that'll probably wind it down to half time. And you can't get them past Glenn Davis, can you? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's still he's still giving him directions yeah. out there, Glenn Davis. No, bring it in here. That's it. Oh, geez, I don't know about this, but anyway, full time siren. A half time siren. Oh, and it's oh here we go. <laughs> here we go. It's a foot race. Miranda's kicked it through, but eventually, oh, it's, the ball's still, still loose. On the deck. Still loose. It's gone back uh, now. Eventually, yeah, half time. He's called knock on tag. He's called something. But anyway, it's it's half time here. But a, look, if you ask thought, me, there, boys, I think um, Scone dodged a bullet. I thought the Scone girl coming back was offside. Oh, yeah, there. there was a stack of players there. The dust was flying. Yeah, I thought the ball might have popped out on the. The scale inside, and the Murundal girls might have picked it up. But, yeah, I didn't think you should sh have kicked it, but something nearly turned out after the kick. But, yeah, 10-0 to the scale girls at this stage. They look to be reasonably in control of the game. <laughs> right here, yeah. Murundal to, to kick off. Second half here, scale leading 10-0 in the major semi of the ladies' league tag. Interesting to note, um, the breeze still hasn't picked up, so Murundal are going to... Have to do it all by themselves without the aid of a nice breeze. This has just come out. I think it's just... Okay, so we've got Haggerty who's skipped out of a couple here. Haggerty's crossed over the 40 metre line. She comes to Gracie Gallon who makes a, a really nice tag on the halfway line. Nice run there straight off the, the kickoff. Graham, Graham steps inside one, but nice tag again. Here we go. Someone's taken the sheet off Don't me. Got your sheet here. I was looking after you. Okay, Hill drops it inside to Casson, back inside up the middle, Elphick. Nice tag there by the six from Murundi. Kimberly Willard who, who shut the gate beautifully. Casson, Casson showing and showing and showing. No one's jumped out of the line yet. Nice tag there by the 13 in Darcy. Last tackle for Scone here, Hill. Looks to, yep, puts a nice grubber kick through. There's a bit of trouble here if Murundi don't get on it. But, Nicely, ta nicely taken over there by Grace Gallon. Brando to dummy half. Goes the short side to the 24 in Erin West. Oh, that's the 12, sorry. Megan McLaughlin. Brando again, jumps out of dummy half. Looking to push someone through a hole. That was the eight in Cherie Johnson. Well tagged, but again, Preslin just takes it out of dummy half and makes a handy five or six metres. No dummy half there, Morundi. Sort of not up with the ball at the moment. That's the eight. Oh, Off great ball. To Grace Gallon. Still haven't made much ground. That's really only about a 20 metre ground gain in the set of six. Rando jumps out of dummy half, puts a, a wobbly old kick down to the, the 40 metre line, picked up by Elphick. Rando comes down and makes a nice tag. At five metres short of their own half, uh, the half on their own line. Graham takes it up over the halfway line. Nicely tagged there by. The six in Kimberly Willard. Nolan again. Watts, nice run over the advantage line again. Making the girls go backwards. Pres I think it was Preslin had a bit of a dig at the referee about something. But Casson's knocked a, an easy ball down. He puts a head, hands to her head. Unusual for safety. But now again, Murundi got a little bit better field position to work off here. If they can play a little bit more tag at them. It's, it's pretty static at the moment from Murundi. Great run there by number eight from Murundi. <clears throat> okay, we go to Gallon. Gallon jumps out of dummy half. She's over the halfway line here. Preslin jumps into dummy half. Wobbly old ball over to the three. And Michelle Wamsley. Wamsley on to West. West there nicely tagged by the young girl there on the wing for Scone. Looks like she's just coming in at half time. The five, Talia Bruce, just 
gets inside the the skein. 40 now. Wamsley dummy half. On to Darcy. Darcy on to Preslin. Preslin out there to Sheree Johnson. But easily tagged there by Georgia the Watts. Still again, Murrindor haven't thrown a lot at him. It's the last tackle here. Preslin goes herself. She puts a bit of a, a wobbly old kick up there. She might get a bounce here. The young girl from... Oh, oh. Youngster, I think it's number 19, is it, from 18. No, no, Phoenix McInerney it was. Unfortunately, knocked the ball on about five metres out from her own line. So Murrindor, once again, can they strike back? They've got the error out of Scone. Wamsley down the short side. Puts a nice ball on the west to... Scores. That's a tie. No, no, yes, Ben Davis. No, no, no. no. Savi has got it just as she was about to put the ball down. Preslin on the west, west out to that's Johnston, I think it is. Hanorando steps one, but it's eventually tagged there by Nolan. No marker here, so we're going to have to use it left. What we're going to do there, Preslin, Preslin onto the the eight in Johnston. She just takes an easy tag. They need to throw more than them. Just taking settlers that close to the line. Preslin shows and goes one way. Go hops out of one. No, nice tag by Savi Casson. Rando at dummy half. Under Johnson, Johnson out to Gallon. Gallon pops a nice ball inside to the six in Kimberley Willard, who leaves it behind, but Liam said knocked back. Last tackle again here against Murrundi. Is that, is that Gallon? Puts a grubber kick through. Nicely taken by Elphick there. And oh. belted, belted for a trouble. So Head I'd clutch. say Liam will be given a, a penalty at a scan. Head clutch. Yep. Yeah, a little probably. bit of a head clash there, boys. Look, coming out of the Murrundi shed, I can tell you that the number seven, uh, Melissa Peters, has gone for the day. Her knee is no good. She won't be returning for the second half. What they've said is they've got to be a little bit quicker on their uh, defence. Don't fall for the dummy from Casson. And, uh, you know, make sure you get to the line before getting the ball away, and it should go a long way to turning things around from the first half. Yeah, but I, I honestly think Murrundi probably can't afford to to let Skane score another try. I don't think Murrindor have got three tries in them in the way they're playing currently, so oh, they're no. going to have to defend their way to victory here. They've also got to score a couple of tries, but certainly let, can't let Skane put another try on the board. I totally agree with you. I don't think that um, at the moment they're showing those sides, but they're going to have to start to get some cohesion moving into... They're going to be playing next weekend against the very... Gay Casson drops it back inside to Hill. Hill nicely tagged there by the eight in Sheree Johnston. Casson just looking for runners, gives it to Haggerty. Haggerty onto Watts. Nothing going there. Last tackle, here we go. William Watts has got the uh, the the three try, the two yellow shirts and the one orange shirt for Scone. Uh, ground managers have obviously failed to see that and it's been up to the ref to pick it up. Okay, down the short side, there's a ball there by Nolan out in front of one of the, might have been Coral Hagen. It was way forward and way too far for Coral to get to. I'm looking for those vests, mate. There's, where, there he is. There's one of them. Um, Mr. Oh, Gary. We won't worry about it because at the moment, Marano got one out there, so <laughs> he'll probably get pulled up to oh, bigger, yes. bigger fish to fry, probably. Bigger fish. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Preslin, dummy half. On to McLo um, Darcy. Darcy inside to the three and Wamsley and finds. Nice play there by Randall, but Scone have read it pretty well. Preslin, dummy half again. Goes on to Wamsley. Wamsley challenges the line there. Nicely tagged by Sophie Casson. Darcy. Johnston. Tries to swivel away out. But nicely tagged there again by Nolan. No dummy, no, no marker. All dummy half. Gallon onto Rando. Rando looking. So she's put the pace on here. She's jumped out of one, jumped out of two, and nicely tagged. No, Liam's going to say try to Rando. Rando's gone down the short side, and there was nothing going. She's decided to step off her left foot, challenge the line, and it was sort of a simultaneous tag, but Liam, the referee, has decided to say try before the tag. So a great hit back by the Murrundi. 10-4 in favour of Scone. Yeah, look, that was nice footwork there. And I said through the first half that she is the most likely to score for him. And uh, there you go. First try to Marundi goes to Rando. Did you roll? Have we written them off too soon? It's a big, long, it's a long game. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, there's really nothing going. It wasn't a structured play. It was just a play that Hannah had gone down the left side and seen that there was probably not much going on out there. And she just stepped off a foot. And she's probably got the luck of the luck of the call. And as you know, Caitlin, a lot of times you, you score tries and get them pulled back. Yeah, that's it. 
a lady a few words today. <laughs> oh, it's nervous, me first gig. <laughs> You're doing fine. <laughs> so we've got, is it Grace Gallon attempting the, not Grace Gallon. Yeah, it is Grace it's Gallon. Grace, is it? Yep. Oh, oh, it's hit the post, so it remains 10-4 in favour of Scone with 16 minutes to go. Look, I took a walk out, as you asked, Reggie, to check out the playing surface. A little bit damp on top, but if you dig down just a couple of centimetres, it is dry dirt underneath, so it shouldn't be anything that's affecting any players out there. They did throw a bit of water on last night. Would have liked to have thrown a heap more, but hey, water restrictions, what can you do? That's exactly right, mate. OK. It's going to kick off. Elphick puts it up in the air, 24 and West gets underneath it, lets it bounce once, it gets it on the first bounce. Nice tag by Hine, only had the one shot at it and got it first go. Short side Preslin, Preslin takes him on out, out away from one. A, a nice tag by McInerney on the, the wing. It's on to Johnston, oh, McLaughlin sorry, Darcy. <laughs> one of them. Yeah, one of them. I should know, she's been the ball player all day. Preslin. That's on to Wamsley. Wamsley, nice ball onto the eight in Sheree Johnston. Wamsley, a dummy half again. Rando. Rando out to Gallon. Gallon pops it back inside to the six in Willard, who's easily tagged there by Nolan. Last tackle for Murundi. Gallon comes around, puts a, a hefty boot up there. It'll test the back three for Scones. He's got a bounce. It's rolling down towards the try line. Well, if he gets it about five metres out from her own line. Comes nice set of six defense. after points. Yeah, it was. They've got them in good field position here now. They, they can get a couple of easy tags here that put some pressure on, but Watts takes a nice run out of dummy half and eventually tagged there by Preslin. Millie Graham takes it up. Nice tag there again by Preslin. Probably a little bit off the mark. I thought she was tagged the first time, not the second. Caitlin, what did you reckon? Yeah, I don't uh, know if just Preslin got it. Yeah, yeah. Coral Hagen takes it up to the halfway line there with a bustling run. Nolan, Hill, wide to Casson. Casson back to Hill. Easily taken there by Michelle Walmsley. They cope with that pretty well, Morandoy did. Casson, Casson to Elphick. Elphick looks to put a kick up. Flynn Haggerty's offside again. I'm nicely taken over there by the Morandoy girl in the two. Alana Bruce. Not an easy catch, but she got under it and. Dummy the short side by Rando. She beats one. Eventually told that Liam's called play on, so West is then the Bruce is tagged there. Rando. Rando onto the, the six and Willard goes up over a 40 metre line, beats one. Eventually tagged there by Georgia Watts. Rando at dummy half. Preslin. Preslin goes to the line. Maybe eight in Johnson would have liked her to just pop a ball there, see if she could challenge him. Darcy. Goes across. She shows one. Well, oh, jumped out of the, the tag there from Casson. Oh, again. Again, the girls aren't there. Dummy half and Beck Hill's got the, the easy possession. The 11 in. Nikki just takes the ball up. Nolan. Casson. Casson steps out of one. Finds Nolan again. Nolan. Jumps there, I thought, but he's been allowed to play on the three. Michelle Wongsley takes the tag. What we've seen yeah. since that first try of Marirundi's is their intensity has lifted a little. There's also been a lot more noise coming off the bench of Scone to talk to the girls about getting up in defence, making sure they're numbering up right. Yeah, I heard the get the dummy half call come from one of them. <laughs> Savi Casson's tag there on the last. Down the short side, Coral Hagen's got the ball. She's put a a wobbly old kick. She's been put on her backside for her troubles and Marano get the ball. <laughs> Change over. Marano will get the ball. It's interesting. Caitlin, who is playing dummy half for Marano? It, yeah, I think a, it's a bit of everyone. Yeah, to be sort of haven't got really a set girl there. To, Preslin has been playing there, but You'd like to see her out, her out a bit wider. Rando down the short side. She's out of one. Oh. Eventually tagged there by Millie Graham and, and probably had to make that tag, otherwise she would have been away. Preslin drops the ball inside to the five. And Talia Bruce. 
They're going to have to shift yep. the bomber. Preslin oh. down the short side. Gives a nice ball onto the... Oh, no, I thought she'd been tagged. Oh, no, the two in Bruce had been tagged. Preslin, Rando. There's no movement in the Rando lines. Just setting for a kick. Gallon gets a kick away. It'll, it'll find touch about 30-odd metres out from the, the scale line. But you'd probably like to see a little bit more constructive play than just five up for a kick into touch. Yeah, look, they've got to get some more ball movement happening. Willard's really got to get herself involved. I think she's been a bit quiet so far in this second half. If Murrundi are going to win, you want your, your halves having a touch of the ball more often than not. Yeah, spot on, Pete. It, it seems to be, Hannah seems to be going into a more ball playing role instead of the, the sweep player from the back, which caused trouble to Skain in the, the previous encounter with them. Okay, Millie Graham takes it up over a 40. Nicely tagged there by the, the two in Alana Bruce. Nolan again. Hill. Hill drops Casson back under. Casson oh, finds what a play. Oh, four Haggerty. Ball. And, and I thought it might have been a touch four there. Over it's, the other side, uh, touch he's picked yeah, that one up. It's their pet play. And That's good field position for Marundai now, Bomber. Yeah, 10 4 with 11 to go. Marundai get a bit of a chance here with a fresh set of six, 40 metres out from the skein line. Randall dummy half gets a real long ball out to. To Gallon, who gets it there onto the five in Dahlia Bruce. Tag. Rando dummies to go to the short. Anyway, Preslin goes to the line. Throws the dummy, but well tagged there by Haggerty. I'll stop myself from saying well tackled. <laughs> Johnston. Hey, we don't mind Bobby yep. doing a great job. Oh. Rando dummy half. Willard. Will, nicely picked up. Just plays square at the line and there's tag there, Nolan. Ooh. Looks like she's done a finger, but she'll get over it. <laughs> Rando, Rando to Johnson. Johnson puts the nine into the hole. Well tagged there. Grace Gallon was the girl going in the hole, but Haggerty's made the tag. Johnston. Rando kicks downfield. Nicely collected there by the 14 in. Who's the 14 for him? Lindsay Atkinson, is it? She's been done for a submitting of the tag, is it? Caitlin, is that what it was? Oh, I don't yeah, know. I think it is. It's a, a rule that it's the submission of the tag's big now. They, they don't oh, want girls right just going yep. up and submitting the tag. It stops the girls from running out of dummy half real quick. They, they're pinging them on Friday night for it. All right, it's a new yeah. one to me. Yeah, it's a submission of the tag. Okay, we've got Preslin there. The ball underneath the post. Three and Wamsley. Wamsley. At the gallon, gallon on to Rando on the sweep. She's out of one, but eventually tagged. I don't know if she was tagged earlier by Watts. I'm just trying to protect your mic. The wind's getting it. Mine. Yeah. There we go. It's oh, a goal. Oh, ooh, Gracie Gallon's just going for a bit of a show and go there and nearly popped through. Presley and dummy half. On to Johnson. Johnson out to Wamsley. Wamsley's dropped oh. a beautiful ball back inside to Darcy and the last ditch tag by Nolan in. Rebeat also that. Casson. Rando down a short side here. Nice little grubber kick. Might be a bit too long. Right idea, and Wamsley was on a good chase, but she was probably just a touch too long. Just a little bit heavy on the kick there, but Marirunda has some promising signs. Yeah, they've just got to hang in here. They've got the, this bruise is starting to pick up, so Marirunda um, Skane probably won't be able to get good field position through a kick, so they're going to have to put the, the nose of the grindstone here and work their way out just with the ball. The, the kick won't go far from the from their kick here with this breeze and up here it is getting stronger by the, the minute. Yeah, it most certainly is. That wind is picking up. Hopefully it doesn't get to what it was yesterday, but he's going on the yeah. attack now, Bomber. Graham, Graham's knocked over or attacked there. 30 <laughs> moves out from our own line. Nolan, Haggerty. Was it dominant Haggerty's... tag? <laughs> well, I'm going to start with dominant. <laughs> okay, this is a nice solid run by the girl coming in from that. Who's that? Number 18. The 18, Phoebe, Phoebe Moritz. Yeah, it was a nice solid run. That's what you want to see out your, your fresh players. Graham, Graham oh. to Kelly. She's jumped out of one, but she's eventually tagged there by Darcy, who's been really busy from Rondi. Nolan. Just easily tagged there by Michelle Wamsley. Interesting to see if this kick ends up in the breeze, if they decide to, to kick it. Oh. Nicely tagged there. They haven't got the kick away, so it's good field position here. There was... There wasn't a lot going on from the Skane 
got side that up. They got a couple of good, nice early runs. They they basically just went back to static play. Nice solid oh. run by Hannah Rando, but unfortunately she's left it behind. She had the right idea, wanted to get them on the front foot, but yeah. She put herself under a bit of pressure there, and uh, look, it was on. If yeah, she, if yeah. That's what she wanted to get that roll on happening, and unfortunately just didn't stick. Yeah, nice run there by Hine. Nolan, Casson, Casson inside to Watts. Oh, Watts is. She's trouble when she hits yeah. a gap. Got a good little bit of toe, hasn't she? She yeah. can motor. Yeah, Georgia was quite a good touch player as a, a younger girl. She doesn't play a lot now. It's more tag play. Nolan, Nolan tag there by Darcy. As I said, Darcy's been really busy for Mirundi. Down the short side, here we go. Elphick, Elphick takes the line and she's beaten one, beaten two. Eventually tagged there by Preslin. That was a, that was basically a try saving tag by Preslin. Nolan, Kelly, Kelly onto Beck, Beckhill gives it to Casson. Casson shows a dummy, nicely tagged there by Hannah Rando. Hannah wasn't letting it get away from her. Here last get, tackle. Last tackle. Hill, she put a, a wobbly old kick through. It's gone behind her own line, but it's eventually picked up by Millie Graham, who's knocked it forward, and it'll be a handover to Murundi. Still 10 4 scone, six, six minutes to go. They've got to go the full length of the field, though, from here. Marundi, they're only 10 metres out, mate. Uh, I'll tell you what, it's going to need some runs from the Henarandos and the likes taking that ball forward. Yeah, there needs to be some really good advantage line running here. I know it there. Oh. Once again, Scone have dropped the ball, picked up by Flynn Haggerty. Flynn Haggerty has run the 10 metres to score probably her easiest try for the year. Marundi were just carting it off their own line, dropped the ball, bounced into the arms of Flynn Haggerty, she picks it up and scores. That and was... that probably should be enough to... Win them the major semi, 14-4. That's, that's a couple of mistakes in important areas of the field, and now they've paid the price. And as you said, Bummer, it's probably the game now for Scone. Well, Pete, you can't make crucial errors in ladies' league tag in the last part of the tackle count, you know, as a Scone did with getting stuck up here, but they capitalised on it. Marundi down there, um, she's just tried to race out of the line very fast to get some grip. Like, she's right intention. Mm. But you just saw um, the Scone defences, like, they train with the men's, they just show they're up in your face and she was Johnny on the spot. Look, I've been really impressed with the way that Scone have used the ball. Those balls back inside, if you're not awake to it, they, the scoreline could have been anything. The defence for Murrurundi has been fairly good most of the time, but mistake after mistake and you're going to pay for it in the end and that's what's happening on the scoreboard. Well, the glimpses after the beginning of the second half were great mm. for Murrurundi, yep. okay, but... Uh, that's all right, Bob. Not banker. Bob. <laughs> Did I call you Banco again? I do it all the time. There's too many Bs. Don't laugh, Pete. So, Caitlin, what do you reckon? They go for a short kick off here and try and get the ball back. It's probably the, an option with four yeah, to go. Yeah, I reckon. Kick over oh. to that right, left-hand side corner. Yeah. Absolutely. A hefty boot. Banco will be laughing. He just knows I'm used to saying it. <laughs> get it. I would say with four minutes to go, and it might sound pretty ridiculous, but they'd need to score within the next 90 seconds to to give them any chance to score another try. So it's a kick-off from Gallon, nicely, nice high one. It's gone over the back of Georgia Watts' head, but it's picked up there by well, that's the 18 in Phoebe Moritz. Watts at dummy half, gets it on to Millie Graham, who spins out of one. Millie gets to a 360 point there. I'm sure Liam so might penalise someone. A 360. Here. No, that. he's got oh. it for a, he's got the Murundi defence for a trip, and I'm he's, well, Millie was very close to ending up in a 360 position. For those who don't know the rules of league tag, 360 is not a the go. You can't do it. A pirouette. Yeah. So anyway, penalty to game. Millie Graham goes forward, throws herself twice, three times at the line. Just they still can't get up. on the hips. She's she's quite adept at that. That was Nolan, a good 30 metre run. Nice ball onto Watts, who takes it forward. Well met there by Johnston, trying to stop the roll. Haggerty, and out the back play to Casson. Casson sort of runs out of room there, and she's taken well there by a the couple of Murundi defenders. Nolan, brings Telly, oh, Nicky, Nicky Shifty, back the ball. Doesn't make much ground, Nolan. Gives it inside. No, Hind comes around. She runs behind Hind. I, it was borderline Shepherd there, but I, Liam's let it go. Hind at dummy half. Gets it onto Casson. Casson onto Elphick. So she'll put a kick up here. She puts a nice little grubber kick through. Hannah Rando's cleaned it up. 
nicely tagged there by Georgia Watts. Nice chase. She knows the importance of making that initial tag on Rando. The winger just takes another. They're trapped. Yeah, trapped in the corner here. It'll be interesting to see what they do, whether they just keep going forward or they chance their arm. That's Willard. Uh, it's, it's penalty, it's uh, a she's, she's got no. It was 360 and blocking, wasn't it, Caitlin? I think you could take your pick, whichever one. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, oh, she no, got it for the 360. <laughs> yeah, she was she was aggressive and yeah. Sounds silly. Nah, you, it's a penalty. It's a minute 50. <laughs> minute 50 left on the clock. 16-4 for the A plus contracting scoreboard in the Bengal Ladies League tag. Scone. Looks at this stage, and we, we well, they're progressing through to the yeah, grand final. Oh, yeah, Nolan, Casson, Casson shows the go, oh, pops a nice ball. ball inside to outside to Kelly Shifty, Nikki Shifty, Shifty, and she Shifley. scores a try. It was <laughs> pretty standard play, a play that Miranda I've sort of come on, looked Kate. at. <laughs> Shiftly, I think. Yeah. Shift, I don't know. It's actually a play that Marandai has looked after all game, but unfortunately, um, yeah, with a minute to go, the defence held off. You're going to say it, Pete. Showing, showing a go and try to scan 20 to 4. The bomber, last name is Schlifke. Schlifke. Okay, I've had it confirmed. <laughs> Schlifke. <laughs> it's only that's taken us all game to get it. Head's, too giving, 50, head's 50. having a laugh at you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's gold. It ain't taken 70 minutes. <laughs> yeah, so, Caitlin, your, your read on next week, Miranda and Mary Wall, what's, what's your tip? Oh, they're both two hard, very physical teams. I reckon, oh, I don't know, I reckon Miranda I get over them easily. Yeah. yeah it's, it, any side of the hand around is in, it's dangerous. I haven't seen Mary Wall for some time play, so if, if the, if the conversion's hit the upright and gone in, from Sam Elphick, so Scone complete the major semi with a 22 points to four victory over Mirandai.